with Doosan's commitment to become the leading material handling supplier, we have introduced our new REACH truck, and this is the PLUS model. This truck comes in 3,500 pound capacity or 4,000 pound capacity, and we can lift up to 318 inches with the 4,000 pound truck. We continue to use the Curtis controller, which is, again, the, the, one of the leading control systems on electric trucks out in the market. They've been around for many, many years. And we've did a lot of improvements on this truck over the previous model to just kind of help the truck be uh, more ergonomic and, and uh, a, a lot more comfortable for the operators too. So one of the things that we did was we added this uh, cable retainer here. So when you plug in the truck, the cable doesn't uh, hang outside the truck. Kind of a simple thing, it seems simple, um, but it, it's nice and it, and it makes it a lot safer to operate. We also now have as standard the battery retaining gate that's interlocked to the truck. So if the truck, uh, the gate is not in place or it's not in place properly, the truck will actually sound alarm and will not move uh, until the gate's in place to make it much safer and make sure you don't lose that battery. So as I said, we offer mast all the way up to 318 inch. The triple stage mast is also, it uh, looks just like a two stage mast. As you can see, this is actually a three stage mast that looks like a two stage mast in, in the, the way we stack our rails. And what that does, it allows us to open that window up so that uh, the operator can see through to what he is doing uh, much clearer, much more visibility. Also, the operator can see down the right-hand side of the truck very easily, so it's a very safe truck to operate. As you can see, uh, the Doosan Reach truck is a Panagraph Reach style, which is the most common. Um, I wanted to point out, uh, this design is all Doosan built, it's a Doosan design. Uh, we worked very hard, our engineers did, in making this a very strong Panagraph system. So it's really important when you are, you have a load reached out and you're putting it away or, or picking and pulling it back in and at really high lift heights especially, it's really important that this Panagraph system is nice and tight so, so the loads aren't wobbly while it's, while it's reached out. So I like to demonstrate, you can see how solid this, this Panagraph is. There is no movement in this Panagraph reach system at all when it's at full extension. So one of the features that Doosan has designed into their reach truck as, uh, as a way to lower cost of ownership for our, for our customers is that we, the, the tow box we call it, where the load wheels are mounted into the outriggers. So what we have done, you can see that this tow box bolts onto the outrigger, which when it's time to replace the load wheels, it's very easy to do on a Doosan because you just unbolt the tow box and then you can actually uh, take out the pins and axles and bearings on a bench or you know, uh, outside of jacking up the truck and working on your hands and knees, trying to work on all that stuff. So, lowering the amount of time it takes to do maintenance and replace load wheels and axles and bearings is key in keeping that cost of ownership very low. The other thing is, you know, what can we do to make these load wheels last as long as possible? As you know, these get used in freezer applications, warehouse applications, on cement floors and floors uh, have different grades of levelness. So the, the more level the floor is ground, the more expensive it is. So there, there's kind of a trade-off of natural dips in the floor. So if you notice this triangle piece here, these axles actually float on this triangle. So, and what that does is when there's natural waves in the floor, the, the the axle can pivot in here so that the load wheel is, both load wheels are always in contact with the floor 
distributing the weight that it's carrying. You can imagine if, if these were mounted solid and you come to a, a rise in the floor, this wheel could rise and this wheel would literally want to lift off the ground until it got to the high spot and then this wheel would lift off the ground. So having a floating mounting system for the load wheels is really a, a great feature to maximize the strength uh, and capacity of the truck along with the durability of the load wheel. So the operator's compartment of this truck is very spacious and comfortable, uh, easy to step up into the truck. It's got a very low step height, got a nice pull handle to help yourself up into the truck. I'm comfortable, I have support, I have a hip support here, uh, presence pedal here to stand on. I can, I have, it's only one presence pedal, so that's nice because that allows me to change my posture when I'm operating the truck, if I'm on for long periods of time, it takes a lot of stress off the operator uh, that they don't have to stand in one position in order to operate the whole time. Steering tiller, very comfortable position. And then of course we have the multifunction handle that does travel, lift, lower, side shift, reach and retract. The dash display is the same as all of our uh, electric models so they all look the same and we'll take a closer look at that. We have heavy-duty fans up in the overhead guard to blow on the operators typically you know these operators this trucks being operated in warehouses and we all know in the summertime uh, warehouses can get very warm so we have uh, a nice uh, lighting system and fans to uh, to help illuminate the um, help illuminate the the work space of the uh, the operator to work in. So looking more at inside the operator compartment, um, we've done a lot of things to help the operator do his job. We have a nice little uh, area here where pens, pencils, and things like that can be held. Coffee cup holder. A uh, nice tray here to hold uh, whatever the operator may need. We have adjustable uh, areas here where you can make this uh, storage area custom fit things. We have uh, back here, it's hard for you to see, but the USB port. And we increased the amperage of the 12 volt port because what we have found over the past several years is that uh, these trucks are getting laptops and things like that that the operators need to use during their day. And uh, being able to plug in a high amperage 12 volt source is key for them to, to uh, work efficiently throughout the day. Uh, big plus on our truck that we get compliments on is the armrest. This armrest is adjustable. There's a lever in the back so you can adjust it higher, lower, to make it the right height for whatever operators on the truck. So if you notice when I'm moving this up and down, it actually kind of pivots toward the front. And the, the reason we do that is, right, when you're operating, it doesn't matter how long or tall or short you are, once you get this in a, a comfortable position for you, what you want is your wrist to stay in that pivot point where you're, you're forward, reverse, lift, lower, tilt, side shift. And then we have large buttons here for reach and retract underneath. But that's the key is if you lift the whole armrest up, now you're lifting your wrist up and you're trying to reach for that multifunction handle. By pivoting that, you keep your wrist in the pivot point all the time. If I, if I wanted to lift that, right, my wrist stays in the pivot point and my, it's just my elbows going up and down to the comfortable position. So this camera angle gives you a little better view of the multifunction handle. You can see uh, this is actually an improvement that we did on the Plus truck. Uh, the reach and retract buttons, we made them a little longer so that you have a little more what we call tactical feedback, which just means you can feel them easier. There's a channel here that your finger lays in to honk the horn, so you actually honk it with the, 
the the first or I guess it'd be the second knuckle of your finger. Again, lift, lower, tilt, forward, back, side shift, and then your your reach and retract buttons are here. If you've looked at any of the other uh, electric truck videos, this display is going to look very uh, familiar to you. Battery discharge, miles per hour. Uh, of course, it's saying pedal switch open because nobody's standing on the presence pedal at this point. Um, ESH button. So here's your light. So right now you can see the H is lit up. Economy mode, standard, high performance mode. Again, these are predetermined uh, speeds. So economy mode is uh, slow speeds, both travel and lift, standard, a little bit, little bit faster. And then uh, high performance is the predetermined uh, fast speed. It's not the fastest it can go. If you wanted to customize it in high performance mode a little faster or even a little slower, it all can be done through the display. Up here you can see a picture of a, another symbol, it looks smaller than this with a little dot on it. This is actually the telling the operator which way the truck is steering. So straight up means it's the steer tire is turned so that the truck will go straight forward and back. As you turn to the right, the dot will move around to the right and turn to the left. This is important because sometimes operators get themselves into a tight position where they have to really crank off the wheel uh, to get into a load. And then when they go to back out, of course they can't, uh, it's hard to remember how many times you turn the wheel to get back to that straight position. So rather than getting off the truck and looking at the steer tire to see if I'm turned straight again, they can just look at the dash and see whether or not they are pointing forward. So that way it's safe to back back out without uh, damaging anybody or anything. So there you have it. That is the new plus model reach truck that we have to offer. I think you can see uh, this truck can easily become one of the best reach trucks out in the market. And I hope you see that too.